the midpoints of the sides bc ca and ab of triangle abc so here we'll take triangle abc and the midpoints see a b c midpoint of bc is d which is 3 comma 4 and midpoint of ca is e midpoint of ca is e that is 8 comma 9 and midpoint of ab is f which is 6 comma 7 so now i'll take a b c values i need to find so i'll take it as x1 y1 just i'll keep it the same x1 y1 x2 y2 and c i'll take it as x3 y3 x3 and y3 now here see f is the midpoint of a b so clearly if you write f is the midpoint of a x1 y1 and b x2 y2 so f equals the formula is x1 plus x2 by 2 y1 plus y2 by 2 and here the value is also x1 y1 x2 y2 so f is nothing but here 6 comma 7 f is 6 comma 7 so equate abscissa with abscissa and ordinate with ordinate so 6 equals x1 plus x2 by 2 which is nothing but 6 times 2 12 so x1 plus x2 is 12 in the same way ordinate if you equate 7 equals y1 plus y2 by 2 so 2 times 7 14 so y1 plus y2 is 14 now next one d d is a midpoint of d is the midpoint of b x2 y2 and c x3 y3 now d value is 3 comma 4 equals midpoint i should do for this first so x1 plus x2 by 2 is the formula so but here x2 plus x3 by 2 and y2 plus y3 by 2 again i'll equate abscissa with abscissa and ordinate with ordinate so 3 equals x2 plus x3 by 2 if we'll cross multiply x2 plus x3 equals 3 times 2 which is nothing but here 3 times 2 is 6 3 times 2 is 6 so x2 plus x3 is 6 so in the same way y2 plus y3 by 2 equals 4 so y2 plus y3 equals 2 times 4 which is 8 now e is the midpoint of e is the midpoint of a x1 y1 c x3 y3 so e value is 8 comma 9 equals x1 plus x2 by 2 so here x1 x2 is x3 x1 plus x2 by 2 midpoint formula y1 plus y3 by 2 because in place of y2 here we have y3 now again equate abscissa with abscissa and ordinate with ordinate x1 plus x3 by 2 equals 8 
y1 plus y3 by 2 equals 9. So here x1 plus x3 is 2 times 8 16. 2 times 8 16 y1 plus y2 is 2 times 9 which is 18. So in this way I got like 6 equations. Now if I solve these equations I will get the values of x1, y1, x2, y2 and x3, y3. Now see for solving this just I will eliminate one one equation here. So the first equations here I will take this this equation these equations and so what i'll do is i'll take two two equations and i'll start solving so first here i'll take x1 plus x2 x1 plus x2 is 12 x1 plus x2 is 12 so again i'll take x2 plus x3 so I can write x3 plus x2 is 6. I will eliminate this. If I eliminate this, now see here. Minus, minus, minus. x2, x2 cancel. So x1 minus x3 is 6. So I solved these two equations. I got x1 minus x3 is 6. Now I will take this one. x1 plus x3 is 16. Now I will add these equations minus x3 plus x3 cancel. So 2x1 is 22. x1 is 22 by 2. So x1 is 11. x1 is 11. The first equation if you take the first equation this one x1 plus x2 is 12. 11 plus x2 is 12 x2 is 12 minus 11 x2 is 1 now take any other equation which contains like x3 so x1 plus x3 is 16 here so x1 is 11 11 plus x3 is 16 so x3 is 16 minus 11 so which is nothing but 5 In the same way, take the first two equations in terms of y. y1 plus y2 is 14. Second one, y3 plus y2 is 8. I will subtract. y2, y2 cancel. So, y1 minus y3 equals 14 minus 8, 6. Here, sorry, I wrote 2. It should be 3 because see, it is 3. So now I will simplify these two. y1 plus y3 is 18. Now if I add these equations. 2 times y1 is 24. So y1 is 24 by 2. So the value of y1 is 12. The value of y1 is 12. Now y1 plus y2 is 14. 12 plus y2 is 14. y2 is 14 minus 12. So y2 is 2. Now y1 plus y3 is 18. y1 is 12. 12 plus y3 is 18. So y3 is 18 minus 12. So the value of y3 is 6. So a x1 y1 b x2 y2 x3 y3. So the vertices are x1 is 11, y1 is 12, x2 is 1, y2 is 2, and x3 is 5, y3 is 6. 
so the values for a b and c here are 1 11 comma 12 1 comma 2 and c 5 comma 6 